Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. A Clare County man now behind bars accused of stabbing his grandmother. It happened Saturday at a home on Harrison Avenue. Clare County deputies received a call about a 68 year old Harrison woman who had been stabbed several times. She was taken to a hospital but is expected to be OK. Investigators believe the man, 25 year old Jacob Dunham right here, got into an argument with her and when she tried to run, he grabbed a knife and threatened to kill kill her before stabbing her in the back several times. Police say Dunham may have been drinking before it all happened. He's being held on a $1 million bond. Saginaw police believe a car was speeding before a deadly crash just before four yesterday morning. When police arrived at the intersection of Hess and Birch Park, they found an SUV on fire laying on its passenger side, leaning against a brick pillar. Two women were thrown from the vehicle and a man was trapped inside. One of the women and the man, both 24 year olds from Saginaw, died in the crash. The other woman, who's from Bridgeport, was hospitalized in critical condition. That investigation is ongoing. 15 new sets of recall language filed against two Flint City Council members. Of the 15, six are against Councilwoman Liddell Lewis. The other nine are against Councilwoman Judy Priestley. The Flint City Council says an election commission meeting has not yet been scheduled for these petitions. Recall language against Tanya Burns will be considered in a meeting scheduled for next week. And now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. The winter weather advisory is still in place for Ross Common County until 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning. That advisory is for another couple of inches of snow, mainly on the northwestern half of Ross Common County. So the farther south it needs to go, the lighter the amounts will be. Scattered lake effect will be passing through mid-Michigan from time to time this evening. I do think we need to watch the thumb as well. Later tonight, you'll see some of these uh, snow bands develop, especially as these northerly winds meet the northwesterly winds a bit of a collision there which can enhance snowfall rates and I think we could at least approach one inch or uh, one inch per hour at the peak. It may not be that way the entire time but I think that could lead to some quick accumulation in the thumb right through tomorrow morning which of course could slow some things down for the morning commute. But things do dry out as we head into Tuesday afternoon. Maybe an isolated snow shower here and there, but the coverage will drop off quite a bit compared to early in the morning. As we take a look at Wednesday, I think we'll have a chance for some snow showers to pass through during the morning. Some freezing drizzle is likely going to be mixed in with this as well. So do think we need to be careful out on the roads and then everything will transition over to just regular snow once we get into the second half of Wednesday. Don't think this is a major snowfall for us. Could be another one to three inches or so. As we look at your snow predictor tonight, this area right here seems to be the best uh, area that I can highlight to show you the accumulation potential. Note areas like Bad Axe and even as you go north towards Kindy, some of those areas, you're right on the razor's edge. So any small shift to the west and all of a sudden you're going from being on the edge of this to potentially even into the heart of it. So just know that some small shifts could make a big difference for areas that are on the border. Either way, it should be a manageable snow, but it could slow you down tomorrow morning. Your seven day forecast shows temperatures later Later this week will be in the 30s most of the time, but we do have a day in the 20s Friday. We'll warm up a little bit by the end of the weekend and also early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.